Let's learn how to use Vision Assistant to classify colors in a specific region of interest, or ROI for short. This is in a marble sorting mechanism, and I've collected a representative image of each of the different color marbles as well as the empty feed disk. And, of course, the webcam is in a fixed position, so the marbles always show up in a given region of interest. I will be using color classification step. We need to begin by creating a new classifier file. Now, at the moment, it only knows about the current image, but you can open up as many images as, as you might need. So in this case, I'm going to say select all in that folder. I'll go ahead and say yes, but eventually that, that black marble will get in there again. And at this point, we need to define the region of interest. Now, you could use the traditional square or rectangular region of interest. Since these marbles are circular, we could also use the circular ROI. If you click and simply drag around, you get uh, various elliptic shapes. If you hold the shift button down at the same time, then it constrains it to a circle. Let's say add class, and I'll call this blue, blue class. You'll see that number of samples is still zero, so we need to add one sample. Now, in general, you could add additional samples, and that's going to give you better training results. But you can even do pretty good just with a single sample. have another class here. This would be black. And again, uh, after adding that new class, then we add a representative sample. Let's go ahead and do the class for empty. Add the sample. So you kind of get the idea. Let me start to speed through this. We'll define the rest of the class names and add a sample for each one. All right, now I've done this for all six marble colors as well as the empty feed disk. Select the classify tab. It says training is required. Go ahead and click uh, train classifier. And it shows you the results for this particular image. Now, 1,000 is the best possible classification score one can get. And that makes sense because it's checking the exact same image that was used for the sample. These distance measures then give you a sense of how far away this particular color is from all of the other colors. Again, we're going to, we expect to see a high classification score, uh, uh, again, a, a value of 1,000 in this case. As we choose different ROIs and have different um, images presented, then that classification score is going to be less than 1,000. You have some additional options that you might look at if you have time. And in my experience, the defaults work very well. But again, I encourage you to check the help for more documentation information and to uh, feel free to experiment. Next, I need to save that classifier file. It's a CLF file. And you might choose a, a convenient name. This is kind of a generic one that I'm typing here, but you might want to include more information that gives you some sense of the lighting configuration or something to do with your camera, something that makes that color classifier file um, easier for you to be able to find. All right. The Step now is reporting that it found an empty carrier, but that's because the ROI is not in the right spot. Let me define the circular o ROI for this image. And it says that was classified as black with a classification score of 886. Now it sees blue. Now it's seeing empty. It sees green with a classification score of 913 and so forth. You'll also notice that you can view these classes as labels. So green, red, and white. 